Open data is about ensuring that the data that has underpinned research is available for others to reuse and repurpose. It's about having data that other people can find and can then use again so that instead of just investing a lot of money in something that's used and thrown away, uh, effectively it's recycled. The process that we've evolved over the last few hundred years uh, involves the communication of our ideas and the testing of those ideas, the falsification of those ideas by others. So the sharing of the data is just another part of that uh, communication. It's important because uh, it saves us money, because it enables us to, to do better research and do it more quickly, uh, and because it protects us against those who might otherwise uh, want to mislead us with their research. It's important to, to underpin the validity, the robustness of research, to have your data open for others to be able to use those data to, to look at and to critically examine your research. But also it's a recognition that so much can be gained by reusing data for other purposes. That's why it's important to share it. We learn things that we did not anticipate when we share data to, with people outside of our discipline. So science is a collaborative uh, enterprise, and it always has been. Even if you took uh, data yourself and you analyzed it yourself, part of science has been that you get it validated um, and replicated, reproduced by other scientists in order to check that it's correct, falsify it, to build on uh, what you've done. OK, the global scale um, goes right through from things like the principles developed by the OECD through to global programs where particular programs have developed policies and protocols for ensuring data openly are shared, um, through to the work that publishers have done at international level requiring data to be open when you publish a research article. I think then through to things that are happening, say, at the G8 level, or the, the Science Europe level, etc. So there's a lot of international activities going on now recognising at a policy level at least that data sharing should and must take place. A huge amount of effort from, from work in individual uh, research domains that goes back more than 50 years, particular data repositories, uh, through to um, attempt to develop skills and train new uh, careers of data scientists uh, through to organizations like the Research Data Alliance and CoData that help national bodies and domain bodies work together to build international infrastructure. If you're a researcher, start by sharing your data. Um, if you're a government agency, start by writing a, um, a solid data sharing policy. If you're a data professional, um, start by getting engaged with the Research Data Alliance and other organizations that amplify your impact. Um, yeah, so I think it really depends on, on who you are as to what the next step is. I could turn that question on its head and say, why is it a bad idea not to share data <laughs> in the sense that Data are the lifeblood of research. If you don't share your data, it's saying something about you as a researcher. You've got something to hide.